BC Outdoor Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Maple Ridge Chrysler, Lowrance, Duncan V. Lodge, Fort Boathouse, BC Outdoors Magazine, and Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. I'm your host Mike Mitchell. Uh, special time, Sid. Welcome back to the show. Well, welcome back to Duncanby Lodge and Rivers Inlet, Mike. You know, we, we talk about this in the off season. We always say we're going to figure out dates, we're going to figure out dates, figure out dates. And I always leave my calendar blank. I don't book anything else until I get this date in because this yeah. is so much fun. I love this trip. I look forward to the adventure. Getting up here and of course the accommodations, the meals, the staff, then the fishing. Well, it's, it's it's mostly the fishing. I too look that. forward to my to my <laughs> annual visit with you every year. Yeah. You've uh, you've become a, a part of my life here at Duncanby Lodge, and uh, love having yeah. you here in BC Outdoors is a, is a part of us. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it too. So, for the for those of you who don't know, we'll we'll give a breakdown. Where is Rivers Inlet? Rivers Rivers Inlet is on the central coast of British Columbia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty much right halfway between uh, Vancouver and Prince Rupert. Yeah. And so people that want to come up here and fish and stay with you, it's a, it's a fly-in fly -in resort. Uh, we don't, you don't do boat and stuff. I, I bring Big Red up here just so we can fish on with all my sponsors. And, and, Big, Red and is, Big Red is always welcome, but yeah. we're, we're, we are not in the marina business yeah. anymore. So packages in, include fully guided, you drive boats as well too. You guys got the whole gamut here. Yeah, right, we've right? got the fleet of Grady Whites. We have 14 Grady's in our guide fleet. Mm -hmm. We have 18 of the beautiful 18 and a half foot bridge view extendeds. Yeah. Um, all this, and the, the self-guided boats come with all the same gear the guide boats do. They've got the Scotty Downriggers, mm -hmm. uh, the GPS. Uh, all the boats are equipped with AIS. All, yeah. the boat, all the boats have, uh, you know, we have radios in all the boats. So speaking of fishing, it's August. Yeah. As we like to call them, the, the coast here is August. August is what they like August, to call it. Early August here, um, and fishing's been pretty good. It's been very pretty solid. Good. Up until today, so it's August 2nd today. Yeah. Uh, how many tie releases up to date? We have 55 of 61 so far. Wow. So 61 tie caught and confirmed. And 55 Actually, of the... Sorry, 55 of, 55 of 60. Yeah. Okay. So 60 ties caught. 55 yeah. of those have been released, sent released. back to do their thing. Yeah. Amazing. And from one of her two coho are in. The coho are in yeah. hot and heavy. So I think that... Our, our, the largest, largest one of the season yesterday, 14 pounds. So far, oh, which is awesome. a beautiful coho. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, early. That's still early for that, that size of fish too. It is. Fantastic. Pound a week once they show up. Yeah. So our, our plan is, I think we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna meet up in the morning. We are. And then we'll go out and do a couple days of fishing. There you go. And then there's the weather's supposed to be up and down a bit, so we're gonna get a little bit of rain possibly. Sounds like and a little bit of sun. And, we're gonna get it all. Yeah, that's great. We're gonna get it all, which we'll is uh, that's the central coast too. Yeah, right? I'm looking forward to it. So what time are we leaving the dock tomorrow? Uh, seven. Seven. I like that time. That's, seven is that's manageable. Yeah, that's human. Is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all right. <laughs> At five, five thirty, we call it. I call it stupid o'clock. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, seven o'clock at the dock, seven and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, Mike. All right. Looking, looking forward, forward to it. Forward to it, man. Yeah. Go. Putting any magic potions or anything on, Mike? Oh, uh, would you like some? I've got a little bit right here, if you'd like. Which one's, what's that one? That was uh, Bloody Tuna and Anise, I believe. Oh, yeah. Right now. We're on. <laughs> Are we ever on? Can I clear this one, Sid? Yeah, let me clear this one. Yeah, it's a big fish. Yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm fine, Mike. You can slow it down for me, better. Take us offshore. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, holy. That thing took off so hot. Yeah, it was just an absolute melter off the rigger. 
It's almost like you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> it never gets old. No. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful fish. How's the hook looking on the other side? Oh my gosh, a long fish. Perfect hook set too, eh? Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Right on. Oh yeah. That one's ready to go already. There we go. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Ridge Chrysler. We're closer than you think. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Gotta get rid of those. Jellyfish tentacles. Right off there. Oh! Oh my God. He's there. He is there. He's stuck. There we go. Yeah, we, got a good one. we got a good one. Gas, 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 gas. Okay. Way out there. Way out. Yep. We're clear and we're good and everything's beautiful. Oh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> tape measure. Get the tape measure ready for this one. Okay. That's a tight. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, Mike. Give me a hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Hog. Holy smokes. Tape measure, smokes. please. 24, 25. 40 by 25. Okay. We're going to go right where you're going, Mike. What a beautiful fish. A drop of blood. Let's get her back in the water. 34 pounds, my friend, 34 pounds. <laughs> That's it. That's incredible. What a feeling. <laughs> Finally. Finally. It's a lot of years, man. Finally. Happy to be here to see it happen. Well, it was what, it was an 0 for 5 today? Yeah. Start well, 0 for 5 on taps. 
confirmed fish. But, uh, oh well, let's get back to me. Let's get back in the water. <sighs> first, Mike Mitchell's first tire release at Duncan Lodge. <laughs> so awesome. Check your leaders. We'll be right back. Oh, Mike, you're on. It's called the Tai Mother. Holy man, look at that. The brass inlays represent the eggs inside her and the eggs she lays. <laughs> in the first year of our program in 2008, one person released their Thai salmon. This year, 93 to 97. That was fast. I literally just got the bait down. Oh no. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the acceleration there. Okay, we're good now. I just dropped the bait down, like literally two seconds. And just nice. set up a second one just in case. Big, kelp, big kelp ball there. Stay out of that, stay out of that. Beautiful. Nice steering. Head shakes, Mike. Yeah, some head shakes. You see that flasher just wobbling. <laughs> I think it's gonna go again. I haven't seen him. Oh, that's another nice one, Mike. That's a beautiful fish. Nicely done. Nice. Oh, I know. <laughs> awesome. That is a football. Yeah. Maybe. That's not good. Oh, no. Hello, my friend. Once in a while? Yeah. Once in a while, we got to keep one, right? But it did take us a long time. We were you dropped the. You had that uh, that Chovy down for what? Thirty-eight seconds. Yeah, about that. Thirty-eight. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Or just yeah, about that. Fifty-six seconds. About yeah. fifty-six. Yeah. I really. I've gotten to the point where I don't. I don't feel bad about it. No. I, you know, there, there was a time when I did, and I don't now. It's it's, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. You know, it's like we get we tell our guests to keep all legal size breeding and injured fish. That's it. Five pounders. Right? We throw nothing back that's a waste. It's, it's the wrong thing to do. Right? Yeah. That's, that fish goes in our license. It's part of our limit. Yeah. Um, it'll, be, it, it'll be enjoyed. And it will be enjoyed. Yeah, for you sure. You will share that fish with so many people, yeah. right? Which is what a wonderful thing that is. And now, here's a look at today's tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're going to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, we're going to get to your special assignment in a second here, but let's talk about the rods and reels first. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to the good stuff. Uh, the rods and reels uh, are the Lure Jensen Legacy rods and reels set up um, with 30 pound suffix line. It's a 10 and a half foot mooching rod. Uh, that's pretty pretty standard up and down the coast as far as lengthwise and, and size. So I get a lot of people asking what size is mooching rods. There's downrigger rods that are nine foot. They're pool cues basically, but yeah. the, 10, the 10 and a half foot is kind of what you want for the standard, right? Yeah, and they're, enough, and they're strong enough. They got, there's enough backing in to, for the riggers, Mike, but yeah. the beauty of the mission is the 10 and a half foot rod with the, with the light action. Yeah. It's, you get to play your fish. Yeah, and you, get to, you get to feel them and enjoy the moment. Yeah. And, and it's, 
It's beautiful. And allows you to, with the ten and a half foot, to use a bit longer leader at times yep. if you need to, to get the net up anyway. So that, that's that's the reason for it. So again, like I said, 30 pound Suffolk's line on it um, went down to 30 pound Suffolk's fluorocarbon. And the setup that you use the whole time, I think every day I fished with you, ever, has been with this setup. Fish and it. it's produced. I it fish produces. it every day. It's the, <laughs> it's the bear. Yeah. The bear party, the bear party go spoon. This one's the four inch size. And I, and uh, of course I run a dummy flasher, mm -hmm. uh, five feet below. I run a six foot leader. Yep. And I put the clip on uh, three to four feet above the bead. So it's nice and tight just above yep. it. The, um, run a flasher, the dummy flasher's down five feet below. And the part I love about it though, is you feel every ounce, every fish. Yeah. It's just you and the, you and the fish. It's very, 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 very close to how I fish as a kid, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, without the flasher, the flasher's on the main line. And I really just enjoy that absolute feel yeah. and, and, and every ounce of it. You never have that flasher pop. Oh, it's gone! Or yeah, you, or you're not, or you, or you're not sure if it's still on when you when you pop it, right? Or if it's on, it's on. It's either yeah. on, or it's not. Yeah. And right? you feel every ounce of it the whole way. So, yeah. And I just love this old this the old party gold. And, and who doesn't? It works. Yeah. Man, that this thing works. This one here has got. She's got a lot of fish. This. Uh, yeah. Nice few days. It's done well. Yeah. I was brand new out of the box too. Uh, and then I switched over on my side. I was I was running the uh, same rod and reel setup. I had the neon tangerine line on the one side here, um, and my tie -E combo. Tie -E combo. The tie -E combo. Uh, I went away from a traditional black and gold, which I did catch a lot. We did catch a lot of fish on this, but I went with a red lure Jensen. This seemed to be again when the, the sun was out a bit. We decided I decided a mirror finish was going to be best to capture that light. It was this uh, Coyote Flasher with our Chrome BCO teaser head, and I also was running the glow. So I just had one and one set up at all times when we had a fish on, yeah. and we I missed lots of bites. When we're running baits, you can't just leave it down there. You get stripped, you got to redo, right? So right. we were running it. So I ran the wired uh, Lighthouse Lure teaser heads, the BCO special, so the Chrome and then the glow as well too. And um, this is the exact one here that caught me that tie. So yeah. that's going to go uh, put away for, for a while. To put that uh, well, my, uh, put that away with a picture frame. My tie spoon from you last year is a treasured uh, treasured piece. Hangs in yeah, my office. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and then uh, we did use a little pro cure too. I said pro cure anchovies, um, and that's just standard for me. And then we actually used a little pro cure on the back of yours. Use the, the bloody tuna anise uh, one on yours. And we did it. It uh, little scent never hurts. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then of course. Uh, you know, I think key to the show, I mean not key, but we were constantly looking for that structure, bait, able to get the, the ball, cannonballs up and down with the Scotty Downers, the high performance downers yeah. are fantastic for that, right? You, awesome. you, you, it, it, what they do is they allow you to make a mistake yes. and still recover, the oops, right? Yeah, the, the, oh, the oh no, oh no. Is, yeah. The oops factor is a little better with the Scotty high <laughs> yeah. performance. Yeah, and they're, they're sure. coming up pretty good. And then of course the sounders and stuff too. We're watching that structure, looking for bait and we've seen a few streakers and that was kind of, that's always fun. We see those. Yes those lines coming up yeah. or going down. You're like, yeah, watch the rod, and then it Get goes ready. off, right? Boom. Pretty cool, too. And then, of course, uh, the North River boat all, all decked out with our, our special stuff, our Yamahas and our all the sounders and electronics and everything else. I mean, it's a comfortable boat to fish in. You had a little weather, and it's not too bad with a little cover and a chair. Like Everybody that. get another chair, though, right? You get another chair. Yeah, it's on our I list. like hanging out on Big Red Mike. I look forward to doing it again yeah. next year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to follow up with a quick list. Hope to see you out on the water. Bigger and better. The Lowrance Ultimate Fishing System upgrade now offers more. A new $200 rebate on active target live sonar and bigger savings with up to $1,200 cash back. Pick fish finding tools to fit the way you fish. From high performance sonar and ultra quiet ghost trolling motor to navigation and networking tools that bring it all together. Find more, see more, catch more.
Closed captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful rivers in Lat BC. That's off the clip. Yep. It's got bigger all of a sudden. Oh, run! Beautiful Chinook Chinook. Chinook. Yeah. Gorgeous fish. Eyes are tracking down. This one's ready to go. Are we in neutral? Yep. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Oh. We're ripping line. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Just screaming still. Thank you, sir. Teenager fighting out of his weight class. Holy, did he ever. Did he ever. That was fun. Well, I'll take a deep breath. That was a whirlwind of two days of fishing up here. We'll just do a quick recap. Like, it was, like what I say, whirlwind. We were, well, we had lots of action. We caught, we caught lots of beautiful fish yeah. and uh, lots of great moments and laughs and, uh, yeah. And just as always, Mike, a pleasure. Yeah, a pleasure having you as part of Duncan being part of my life, and I, uh, I cherish my relationships, and I cherish my relationship with you. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, it means a lot to me. And I, what I was going to say is now you're choking me up a little bit, and I'm not that type of guy, so I don't know what's no. going on here. And we had something but, uh, special. Uh, <laughs> that's right, we did. We had something very we special happen. Yeah, right? we did, and and we were, we were trying to figure out we should have done the research here, but trying to figure out how many years I've been coming up here now. So I I, I think it's five or six. I'm going to say. It's, I think it's I think it's six years. Yeah. And, we, and we've been we've been trying to do something together. Uh, since that first that first time we mm -hmm. came fishing together, yeah, and that was to to release a tie, and we got to do it together with me last year yeah. in a beautiful 39 pound hatchery fish that we got to set free, yeah, at awesome. the wall, and and uh, and then on August the fourth, uh, a very special moment happened for two guys, and and for my uh, my friend Mike uh, Mike Mitchell released a beautiful 34 pounder on August the fourth in the morning at Cranston Point. Yeah, amazing. So we have a very special presentation for you, my friend. And these are extra special. These are these are these are carved by First Nations carver Jason Henry Hunt, and these are hand carved with old school hand carving tools. And, mm -hmm. and the peats, it's a mahogany and brass reel, and that mahogany. Everyone's a snowflake because they're hand carved, and the stain is taken differently on every single one. Mm -hmm. And these are symbols. What I ask people to do is to display these in their home or in their office. And every time you look at it, you'll smile. You might even shed the odd little tear. And people will ask you why you have it. And you mm -hmm. tell them why. Yeah. And why it's important. I agree. So to present that to you, my friend. Thank you. Because you, you have been an ambassador for this with me. Um, your support through, your, through the magazine, through the television show. Um, the proper, the proper way, the proper way of fishing, um, those attitudes, and that we are a relevant, our sector, our recreational fishing sector, is relevant on so many levels. Right? We are, we are, we are vital. Yeah, I agree. We're vital to this coast. Yeah. You know, and to other people from the other parts of the world that want to come and experience mm -hmm. this, enjoy this with us. But Mike, an thank absolute you, pleasure, my brother. Yeah. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say really. I'm not really good at doing acceptance speeches, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna display a proud and everybody that I'm on Zoom calls will see it. They will see it in the background, they'll see it somewhere and, and I hope they ask about it because I'll tell them definitely uh, the reason why I have this and the reason why why it's so important for sure. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks buddy. Thank you so much, right? And thank you folks for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Mm -hmm.